Warning, this podcast may contain adult language that is not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Also, this podcast may contain spoilers, so if you're not into that sort of thing, you might want to skedaddle. Gosh, it's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. A long ass day. We started this day with a bunch of week day one ups. Then we had five of them. Like the worst B dubs trip we've ever had. And I usually have good service at B dubs. So we'll get into it. If we sound tired right now, it's because we're all we're all little like we're frustrated. frustrated. (laughs) We're frustrated and tired because our stomachs are full. We were at B dubs for like a freaking hour and a half. It's not even busy. Like I was was like a little busy for that B dubs. For that one, but not busy like in comparison. But anyway, it's not like Super Bowl Sunday. Nah, yeah, yeah. This isn't a comic cast, guys. You didn't come here to hear us talk about B dubs and chicken and uh, bad waiters. You came here to t- hear us talk about anime. Or maybe you did come here to hear us talk about chicken. Anime. Well, you're at the wrong place for that. You need to go over to my other podcast, Chicken Cast. Mm-hmm. How many people just clicked away to go see? That? <laughs> <laughs> what if that is a thing? And it, it's not us, but like someone does Chicken Cast. We talk about the best chicken. <laughs> Today I had some delicious chicken strips. Today the chicken was. The, the force was with this chicken, let me tell you that. The force was with this chicken. Well, today with us, we've got, <laughs> Don't uh, call me the normal crew. We got me, I'm Cody, also known as Convention Reviews Guy. Guy. Also known as That Short Guy. Also known as, you're way shorter than I expected. Um, <laughs> and who else are you guys? Who, who's this guy? This is Drew Robinson. Stud Muffin. Also known as Stud Muffin? Also known as Stud Muffin. Also known as Dante? Yeah. Also known as... Also known as... Token Black Guy for this group. There you go. (laughs) I thought that was me. Oh, I was messed up. (laughs) Who's this? Hello everyone, this is Nathan again, or Donut. Your last name's again. Yes. (laughs) Nathan again. Yes. Also known as Donut and Panty. Donut and panty. Where did panty come from, or do I want to know? It's, it, uh, no, it's not a big deal. Um, it was for Stella's uh, streaming. We were talking about um, panty and stocking with Gardevelt, and one show. of one of her viewers mentioned wanting to see me uh, cosplaying panty. Can we make that happen? <laughs> so I am. My name's Panty. Whenever they're referring to me in stream. All right, and who who are you, last mysterious guy sitting across from me? <laughs> uh, um, freak him out now. I <laughs> I'm Dakota, otherwise known as Mister Director, otherwise known as Jimmy. What? Big D. B- or Big D? <laughs> you can call me Big D. And with with us, you won't hear him. We got Yarlog, the protector of Earth. Uh, you can't see him. You can't. And see he doesn't him. really talk, but but you can hear him right now. He just sat down on the desk. So. What was that, Drew? Are you getting a call? I had a call, but I had to tell him I'm doing a bi- podcast. Who was it? Podcast. My friend, he's obsessed with, uh, with you. LOL. With LOL? League of Legends. Oh, oh really? None of the us. The other I LOL. Think, I don't think any of us get into that. I have not. I tried playing it. Playing it didn't really he's like trying it. to get me into it, but. I'm oh, just man. It. Bro, be careful, because if you like it, I've heard that takes your life away. We'll you're like one to talk. Can, you're one to talk, Mr. Minecraft. Bro, the matches are like a half an hour long. You can't leave, otherwise yeah. your team will lose. Uh, like it'll Minecraft, take your you can life. walk away from. I'll just do one more round. Yeah, <laughs> Minecraft. I just when I'm done hitting the blocks, I'm done. I'm out. All right. So anyway, enough enough talk about us. Uh, you came here to hear about Otaku Talk. You just grabbed stuff out of my crotch. I did. I dropped yard log. Um, so uh, let's start with a fun round of what we've been watching, or what have we been doing, or yeah, yeah. I don't know. All right, we'll start with start? Nate. Nate said he's got something. Right, no, we'll go Nate last because you just said you got something good that you started watching. Okay, uh, better what... be good if you're the finale. <laughs> you're ending this off. Finale. Se- seems that Nate goes last most of the time. So let's start with Drew. Actually, what's Drew been watching? Just recently, I watched the second o- second episode of uh, Death Parade. Oh, dude, I haven't seen it yet. I, oh, the new episode that's out? I need to see it. I've got it. I need to watch the show. I gotta watch Billiards first. Oh, oh, you don't so have to good. watch it I don't first. have to, but I want to. You should. I, guess I think you right. should. You don't have to, but you, you should. should. It is yeah. definitely Parades on Crunchyroll, isn't it? I thought I saw it. Is it? I'm not Maybe? sure. Maybe? 
Uh, we'll check later. Did you like it? Home. I love it. It's good. It, is it taking it a good totally direction? Spin, it's been on us. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm I'm glad it's. I wouldn't say it's spin, but it's it went a different way than I thought it was gonna. Go. Let you spin. I'm glad to hear that at least. What else? Uh, also, I've been watching that shit now. No testament. The second episode of that. I heard things about that. I haven't seen it yet. It's a little edgy. A little? But, uh, the problem is, it's nothing compared to High School of DxD. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. That's why I'm, that's why I'm worried right now, but I'm just waiting for it to get more into the action part. Basically, what I'm saying about that is, if you've seen High School DxD, you'll probably like, uh, what's it called exactly? Something Testament? She's not she's not testament. She's okay, right now. No Testament. You'll probably, the English name is like, Testament of, of my, my little devil sister. Yeah, yeah something like I that. Saw it's it. it's on Crunchy Wolf. It's all about. It's on Quincy Wool. It's under Quincy Wool. Um, but speaking of, have you ever had a Crunchy Roll? I don't know if I'd like that. I've had one. A uh, Crunchy Roll. roll? I like. I like the crunch. I like. I like. I like. Uh, I like my rolls to be a little, a little soft. <laughs> mm. Buttery. Mm-hmm. I like them buttery soft. buns. I like them soft and buttery. <laughs> but the the characters are similar. The whole concept of this it's similar, and if the etchiness and uh, high school DXD didn't bother you, then it's not going to bother you in this show. Alright. Because it's nothing compared to it. So what else you been watching, Drew? Uh. Is that pretty much it? Still watching Majin Bone? I have not watched Majin Bone since I talked about I it. I put that on my queue, by the way. It's on Crunchyroll also, and I put it on my queue so I can watch it. It's not finished, you know. It's not I'm just making sure you know. I don't care. I'll watch anything. Anything else? Um, Did there anyone, any of you guys ever watch Yetterman yet? I don't know. I haven't. I'm going to watch all of Alt New, Alt Noah Zero this week for the next podcast. I'm um, going to... Um, Dang, this. that comes out today. Oh my god, I know what I'm doing later. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm also watching that uh, Lord's Marksman uh, Va- Vanitas. How far watch are you? That. I'm like five, six episodes in. It, would you recommend it? I like it. It's... Uh, which one is that? What's that? What's that about? It's so what it's about the archer and the uh, war maiden. Okay. Oh, okay. But um, it's good. They're basically just trying to take okay. over, conquer land and stuff. And so it's like the conquest. evil ruler on the other side of the mm. earth. But I got um, you. I got you. It's good. He's got you. It. He's got is it you. Done Pikachu. or is it coming out? It's though? still coming out. Okay. All right. Uh. I haven't really been watching, because I'm just going to go ahead and volunteer to speak next. Because he's lazy. <laughs> lazy no, I'm not lazy. I picked Kingdom Hearts 2.5 back up, and I can't stop. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, man, that game is for you're awesome people. I was about to say, you're playing Birth by Sleep. I don't want to hear your <laughs> I picked your it up. Shit. Well, I'm just saying, I picked up 2.5 as well, and beat it, and still watched my anime. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I'm just saying, I I, might be a beast. I'm kind of no life in Kingdom Hearts right now. (laughs) (laughs) I guess I was, like, on the last level when I picked it up. I'm, like, halfway through. I'm a little over halfway through. Didn't you pick up Kingdom Hearts 2? You're not playing it? I bought it for my younger brother. I'm not playing it. Oh, he's playing it? Yeah. Oh, man, it's so good. Oh, it's so epic. I finished Kingdom Hearts 1 a few months ago for 1.5, and then I was just like, oh, man, this was epic. And I find myself... I don't... Like, I'm doing half of these things, I don't remember a lot of this game, because I played it once, and then I think it's because half the time I was playing it, you were playing it for me, and I was just kind of watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm very interested to see if, to see how he fares against Zimnis in the final fight. I haven't had to YouTube a single thing. Well, that's good, you shouldn't have to. Kingdom Hearts is decently straightforward with where you should go, unless you put it down for a long time and come back. Yeah. Then you can get a little confused. Normally, like, sometimes with a game like that, I have to YouTube, like, what do I have to do to exactly beat this boss? Man, you just hit on him. Man. Well, I mean, you don't, you don't, like... <laughs> Man, you sexy. Hey, I saw you at the bar. <laughs> hey, uh, Urs- hey, Ursula. You beat me! <laughs> do I... <laughs> Uh, I mean, you just hit him. Oh, no, the Ursula one, though, that's an exception. Yeah, uh, that's the only thing I had to really look up from the last. I mean, I did figure it out on my own, but it took a long time. Yeah. Like, I lost a few times. Other than that, I haven't. It's all been. I'm almost certain they've dumbed it down. I don't think they did. I man. think that. I, I that, think maybe the Dimmix fight, but. Like, because I beat the, like, the Zaldin fight, I even. I got. Beat that the first try, and I remember dying a lot on that one the first time I played it. Maybe you've just been grinding better, because remember the first time you were grinding? That's uh, true. Yeah. You probably got a hot, much higher level. I'm a, I'm a level 38 right now. Dang, dude. I beat the I finished the game at, what, 47? Something like that. You're really close to my level. Yeah. I'm, Get on my level. I was about to make a joke. All right, Nate, what you watching? 
Did Cody say Well, I didn't go, man. Yeah. Oh, all right, Cody, what are you watching? Nothing. I wrote it down. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, come on, Nate. Come on. Man, dude, you keep texting, bro. We're on a podcast, bro. Would you go? I watched Maria the Virgin Witch. Okay, what the hell is that? Oh, that's the one I wanted to watch. Man, it's good. I was talking to my brother about it, too. He said it's one of his favorites this season. Is that some, that's that's one, one, one of the ones that you were like, I don't think it looks that good. I did think it didn't look that good. And then I watched it, and I was like, I'm into this show. Like, I really <laughs> like this show. You guys need to check it out. Maria the Virgin Witch. She's a virgin witch. Oh, that's her the name's one, Maria. That's yeah. the one where she loses her virginity, she loses her powers, isn't it? Something like uh, that. I didn't yeah. hear anything about that. Because pretty, like, pretty much all the other witches aren't virgins because they're like sluts straight That's up. what the description of it was, though. <laughs> oh, they didn't say anything like that. <laughs> no, like, I think it, like, the, it, the way it was, she, she likes to fiddle with humanity, so the gods or something like that. Go back and listen to our first podcast. That's exactly what the description Well, maybe was. they'll tell me. If the new one came out today. I'll have to watch it. Maybe they'll get more into that. Uh, I wanted to say that I watched watched Absolute Duo on your recommendation, and I'm not happy with you. <laughs> I like it. I'm glad that you like it, but I do not, I do not like it. Do you it. get the Soul Eater feel I was telling you about, though? Yeah, like, The little. partners and the Soul Manifestations? A little I'm bit. I'm going to give it a try. If you keep watching it and you say that it is truly, really good by the time you get to the end, I will watch it. But I, as of right now, I don't think I want to keep up with it weekly. Yeah. Maybe you, I'll marathon it Do you understand what I meant with, like, the first scene is just a giant fight scene? Yeah, but I thought it was boring. We did at before. No, wait. This was before the last podcast. We watched that uh, Rolling Girls. I yeah, we watch talked about that. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I was like, was that before? I, to... uh, I watched your Yoru Yoru no Yetterman, which I keep asking you guys to watch, and I really liked it. My brother watched it too, and he really liked it. Uh, the basically, it's just really, really good and crisp animation and art, and then the story on top of it. I'm just a big fan. Uh, I watched Yuri Kuma Arashi, the lesbian bear show. And, and it, did any of you guys watch it this week? No. no. It was just. <laughs> it wasn't. As, I didn't find it to be nearly as good this week. Really? What was the one that you said you're suggesting to us but we haven't watched yet? Yetterman. Yetterman. It's uh, Yoru no Yetterman. Yoru no Yetterman. And then a Parasite. You guys caught up on Parasite? No. Yeah, yeah but. Yeah. Hey. Like well, I'll just say this week's episode I thought was a lot better than last week's. Last week I, I was awesome. guaranteed. Last week I felt like was build up a lot. So yeah, I, was I feel like this, this one week. is still build up, but it was it better. Is, but it was very plot like heavy. Yeah, yeah. It was much better build. Up. Yeah, very plot heavy. Yeah, I missed the new Tokyo Ghoul episode though. I haven't watched. That's that. the next thing I got written down. That was good. I watched Tokyo Ghoul. That was good, huh? Oh, you I liked it at the beginning. Oh, Me and Cody had already it. talked about it. Yeah, we talked. He hasn't seen it. But I haven't either. It. As long as you don't spoil too much. Just looking at me. He's looking at me like, I'll kill you right now. I was ready. Just There's like two that things you have to watch every week before the podcast. Yeah. Parasite and Tokyo Ghoul. All right, all right. I'll just say that it answered a few of my questions. So. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it opened, uh, I don't know. It made me uh, think a little different about Kaniki. I'm not yes, so sure. Definitely. Uh, Kaniki. I wish we could talk about it, but that's okay. Uh, the last thing I do just want to say real quick before we get into other topics and i forget since i got it written down my thing is that if you guys don't know nate probably don't know kill la kill gonna be airing on tsunami all right Tight. all right all right is... the english dub obviously Probably. i've never watched kill la kill. <laughs> it, is, it's, it is the english i've right. never watched kill la kill as well. i watched the first episode and i hated it damn they're gonna censor it a little bit then no nah, no because it's, it's not... on at midnight yeah I, uh... and I, they show the trailer they don't oh uh, man i heard more of ryuko's voice oh they could not have cast a better person for that english dub yeah imo like this is a really good english dub from what i've heard so far mm-hmm. I, i'm really looking forward to watching i'm re-watching it in the english and i'm i can't i couldn't be more excited uh, so, yeah, what have you been watching? Yeah, you so I'm, wa- I'm watching Parasite 2, and then, uh, the one I was... The to- sequel to Parasite? You yeah. keep saying Parasite 2 every time you... Yeah, it. every time. I'm just gonna start saying also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so the anime I'm suggesting is Kokoro Concert. Now, it is a comedy anime. I felt like watching something funny, so I found this. And it, at first it felt like your typical... High school slice of life comedy. But then right, they, like Parasite. Yes, exactly. 
Like Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> yeah, like Tokyo Ghoul, you know. Oh, I know, like Attack on Titan. <laughs> oh, very high school. That show has so much high school in it. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> but I really hope for season two they at least move them up a year in high school. <laughs> Come on, make it realistic. Come on. Um, make Aaron, make Aaron pretty. Pretty? Yeah, Aaron. make him pretty. Aaron is pretty, dude. Those eyes. Ooh. Especially when his hair gets long. Senpai. <laughs> but, um, but then they throw in this new element, uh, in, Actually, the first episode, but there's this entity or entity, yes, entity or person that has a certain power. He's making them body swap randomly, so their personality. Personality. I'd go into Drew. Drew would go into me, and you two would switch. That would be funny. But there's three girls and two guys, so it's also got the the story of like. There's more girls than guys, and the girl, all three of the girls are in love with the guys too. So one of them is gonna get left out. But it's hysterical because they, a lot of like, sex jokes and stuff like that. Like, he's trying to convince one of the girls not to be worried about something. Cause they're body swapping, and she goes, What if one of you commit a crime in my body? I'm the one that's gonna have to pay for that, not you guys. Ooh, that's true. I mm. might be going to, I could start committing some crimes. So, he goes, you know, alright, here, to prove my loyalty, I'm gonna tell you that my secret, that if I, anyone knows this in our school, will ruin me. He goes, she goes, alright, alright, alright. He goes, I'm, I've masturbated while in your eyes' bodies to you guys. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my god. Whoa. So she starts laughing. She starts getting flustered about it. Oh, Sendai. Next ep- next episode. Or next, These are spoilers. Spoiler next, alert. It, this is just to give you a scene, fu- a funny scene for me. Next scene, she's like, by the way, I'll tell you my secret now. You're not the only one that's masturbated to, in other people's bodies, too. So she's been doing it also. It's hysterical. Is this show just about people masturbating while they're in e- other people's Vigorously. Bodies? Vigorously. So, like, yeah. Because like, they I'm add... Gonna, like, I'm just going to swap bodies with Drew here and then I'm be like, All right, Tim, here we go. <laughs> oh, Tim, here we go. I forgot that you guys knew Tim. <laughs> <laughs> and that is now forever on the internet. If you don't know, Tim is Drew's dick. Um, oh but God. the show is very, very fun. I hope you're cool with everyone on the internet knowing that. Go ahead, Nate. Uh, the show's very, Dude, very funny. Wait, hold up. The day we're at a con. The first time we have a panel, I want someone to be like, raise their hand and be like, when we ask you, be like, how's Tim doing? <laughs> and we'll be so confused What would your answer be, Drew? What would your answer be? No, we'll find out at the panel. <laughs> Do it. Go. We'll have a panel eventually. Do it. But it's very, very funny, but the the fact that they're body swapping and it ends up ends up becoming more than that later on the show, uh, it adds a, like, you get two or three episodes where it's just them laughing and being funny and having funny jokes like that. And then the se- one episode will just go on the exact opposite end and be super dark and mysterious. It's, I, and I like that because it's not just a funny anime the whole time. You'll get that dark element a little bit too. So what else have you been watching? What else have I been watching? I've been watching a lot of One Piece. been trying good, to... Good. My show. You? you said you're at the Sky Pia stuff? Yeah. Uh, oh, you finally start... Oh, that's a good heart. Uh, the Sky Knight just got stabbed. Oh. Spoiler. We already said in the disclaimer. There's a disclaimer. Yeah. I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, I know there's a disclaimer, but if we're gonna do like a drop a big spoiler, we should probably start. That's really not that big. I know. I'm just saying. For future that's reference. literally just what, exactly what just happened. <sighs> like if we mention how Luffy dies. Oh crap! I'm just <laughs> playing around. <laughs> Luffy's Luffy obviously die. not dead. Uh, Luffy's not dead yet. Yet. <laughs> I have a theory about that. I think he will die at the end of One Piece. At the end, I can agree. I think I seriously think he will. Like last episode. Or maybe second to last episode, Luffy will die. Last episode will be like a future. I definitely think in One Piece, one character, one of the crewmates is going to die like Chopper or Robin or somebody. Someone's going to die. I think Luffy's going to knock up Boa Hancock. There you go. I think yeah, baby. he's going to die. And then I think the last episode, there's going to be a, like a 20 years later thing, and we're going to see Luffy's kid. You're just going to see this little baby rubber arm just shoot out of I don't think that's crotch. how the. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's how the devil fruits work. No, like it transfers, <laughs> like the the thing, like and the then narrative. you just like it's like, oh my god, oh, I'm having a baby, and then like this, gama gama no, gama no, and then it just shoots out of her crotch. She <laughs> can already talk yeah. while still in the womb. Well, no, that's all I can say is the gum gum text. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, Where are we going? And then I'm uh, watching. 
Kori wa Zombie Desu, which is about necromancers, zombies, vampire ninjas, and uh, magic girls. So, <laughs> really throwing it all in Zom- the awesome. They? Is that everything? Yes. Yes, that's everything in that anime. Did you hear the description? <laughs> There's everything in that. I mean, vampire ninjas. Vampire ninjas. That's like that comic we read one time. It was like robot samurais, and they have a ninja master who's a monkey, <laughs> and they're also astronauts. <laughs> Sounds like an anime I watch, like daily. That one's another very no, this is uh, a comic book. Whoa! Action. Oh, wasn't that at like? That was at Midwest, Midwest. The first time we went. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But that was another action and comedy driven yeah. anime. I was in the mood for some comedy. Aren't we all? Okay, what do we want to talk about? Alright, so we're going to talk about what our first animes are. Last week we talked about gateway anime, but today we're going to talk about our first animes and like our first animes that really got us into animes. Mine goes back quite far to what my very first anime I ever watched was. We'll SpongeBob, right? Well, well, I figured we just. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I'm starting. The very first anime I ever saw as a kid. I didn't know it was anime at the time, but it was this VHS tape that my grandma had. I used to go to my grandma and grandpa's work a lot. They own their own business. And... Hentai is an anime. It's hentai, just so you know. Yes. <laughs> when I was, was a child, when I was four was years child. old. I was watching. When I was hentai. four years old, I found a hentai tape in my grandma's. And I was shop. just like, <laughs> I was just like, here we go. Oh, side story. No, I'm not gonna tell this story. Your grandmother had a VHS tape of of an anime. Yeah, it was like no, it was uh, it was something. It had three different like stories. And Hamtaro. Yeah, it was Hamtaro. No, it was three different stories of fairy tales of some kind. One of them was like the tale of Aladdin was on there, like three ten minute little shorts. This was an anime. Yeah, it was. I swear to God, I looked it up even like a few years ago when Nate and I What's were trying. What's it called? To, I don't know. I don't know. It was just like I don't, I don't remember. But one of them, the <laughs> one I remember the most was there was a Wizard of Oz, like, little 10-minute anime episode. Was it really dark? No, it was, like, kid-like. Mm-hmm. I only know that because I remember there's this part in it that sticks out, it's going to stick out to me forever because you know, everybody knows Wizard of Oz. The Cowardly Lion is just the Cowardly Lion. But then the and then through the whole anime, looking back on it, it's really dumb. Through the whole little short that it was, the Cowardly Lion is just the Cowardly Lion. He's bubbling, oh, I don't want to... And then, like... They get ready to go to the witch, and the witch is like, You're not going to defeat me! <laughs> um, I'm sorry for your ears. And then the cowardly, they're like, What are we going to do? we got to get a broomstick. And then the cowardly lion's like, I'll take care of this. And he just like goes like Master Roshi and just <laughs> and gets all buff and like beats the hell out of her. And I was just like, Whoa! <laughs> this isn't the cowardly lion I know! Actually, that was the first cowardly lion I was actually introduced to as a kid before I ever saw. So then I, I was like, Oh, the cowardly lion's going to kick butt. And then he was... A little bitch. <laughs> and I was like, man, this guy. But that was the first anime I ever saw. Not a full anime, but it was anim- but it was anime style and anime because they had the mouth flaps. And I just remember that as a kid. Your next year? Or did you want to elaborate more? N- no, I'm, that, that was pretty much it. I wanted to talk about the Cowardly Lion kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Drew, what was your first exposure to anime? Was it from me? Yeah, the first <laughs> anime I watched was recommended by Cody. Now, Bennett. I remember meeting, when I met you and I told you that I watched anime, you were one of these people who said, oh, you watched that hentai stuff? Uh, you I, were one I didn't of, even know what you, hentai was. Not, you didn't say call it hentai. Oh, okay. But you said, like, anime porn. Mm-hmm. You did say that to me and I was like, uh, no. Not, not just because I like anime does not mean I'm into that. Yeah. And, uh, but anyway, go on. Eventually, I recommended you an anime. That probably yes. he have. gave me High School of the Dead. Hi- oh, you dummy! And I we tried. We talked about this last time. I got no. No, I haven't talked about it. We talked about it off the air. No, but um, not the best anime to watch to start as a first time. Yeah, no, no. I do apologize for that, it but it didn't extra. ruin anything. You're still in the anime now. Yeah, after a while, I went and we decided to start watching FMA. Brotherhood. And brotherhood. And uh, that's what really got me in anime. Anime, I love that show. So many feelings. It's a great show. Still, it's in, mm-hmm. in my top five for sure. For sure. It's, it's, great. Not, it's probably my second favorite, if not my favorite. Nice. Brotherhood. Well, um, I mean, I don't really know what my first anime memory is because it goes so far back. But I can tell you, like, what I remember being a child and what anime was like to me. 
I know there was a lot of Dragon Ball Z. I remember getting home from school and watching Dragon Ball Z mm-hmm. uh, all the time. Watching it with my brother, and we just love it. We would, like, fight each other and pretend to Kamehameha at each other. And I remember, I do remember being on the school bus once and just, like, screaming and be like, Aah! like, trying to go super slow. <laughs> And it didn't work. So you're like that kid on the internet who was just like, My name is Draylin, and I am a Super Saiyan. I mean, is that, that's not the one that went Super Saiyan 3, is it? You remember that? No, he like that put was the, the dude that went to like the money machine or the wind machine. Yeah. He just goes, ah, ah, and this was some And little, he sits down and is like, I don't think anyone's ever gone Super Saiyan sitting down, it's like, bud. It's all in your mind. It's all right in your mind. He just gets in all these, he just goes, going, ah, ah. And he like rips off his shirt. The kid looks oh, yeah, like Drew. <laughs> we watched this. Drew watched this with us. I remember watching that. We'll have to show this to you. It's freaking hilarious. Yeah. It's just like a minute and a half. This kid just going ah, and at the end he just goes, ah, "My name is Jalen, and I am a Super Saiyan." <laughs> he doesn't even say Super Saiyan. He's like, <laughs> "I am a Super Saiyan." Like he says, "Super weird." When he's when it, after like the first time he's saying it. Super Saiyan was fine, and then after like all the screaming, that's what you got out of that. Nah, that's what you get. No. Well, anyway, let me continue about my first. I don't want to talk out. about this dude. Well, watch that. You guys go look that up. Um, <laughs> but so I remember that, and then the reason I don't really know what my first is because I also remember being really young, really, really young, and seeing Inuyasha on oh, TV, God. and I remember Yu Yu Hakusho on TV, and I remember. I remember the first time me and my brother watched Yu Yu Hawker show. It came on, Smile Bomb started, we listened to all that, and then it showed a little bit. It was the first episode, luckily. Showed a little bit, and then... Of what? Uh, Yu Yu Hawker show. Yu Yu Hawker show. And um, back then, this was on Adult Swim. Back then, Adult Swim had like a thing that would come up before every anime and be like, this show is not meant for children. It, it has Tsunami at that point. No. This was on Adult Swim. Yeah, I remember. And it would come up, and it would say... um, It would say... Uh, this show contains lots of violence, sexual acts, possible nudity, and, like, all this stuff. It used to do this on Adult Swim, and it's not meant for children. Like, to, to I get Adult children Swim not to watch it. I remember when Adult Swim started, it was actually a pool. Yeah, I remember that, too. But I remember that came up, and my dad was in the room, and he's like, Oh, you guys, should you guys be watching this? Like, what is this? And I just straight up lied, and I was like, No, we've seen this before. This one's fine. This one's not bad. Because I thought it looked cool. I was like, I'm going to stop watching this, you crazy. <laughs> And because of that, I watched a lot of Yu Yu show, and I remember seeing Gundam, Bebop, like, all this stuff that I don't really remember that well because it was so long ago, but mm-hmm. they were definitely my first experiences with anime. Those were, I think, I got spoiled, like, in the fact that I had the same experiences with, as Cody, as, as watching Adult Swim and Toonami, as watching Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was definitely my first anime, I know that. But I remember watching Yu Yu Hakusho as a kid. Not Sailor Moon? I watched Sailor Moon as a kid. I was watching uh, the four kids dub of One Piece <laughs> as a kid. Um, Inuyasha and Cowboy Bebop and Big O. Remember Big O when it was on? Oh, yeah. Did we talk about that one? One time? What yeah, it's in the back. But I remember being in love with those and stuff like that. And then... I grew up and my parents are like, Nathan, you shouldn't be watching that kind of stuff anymore. It's you, not in your age group. So I stopped watching anime. Except for Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z I just always watch. Obviously. Yeah, which it's kind of weird because Dragon Ball Z was my gateway anime when I was a kid. It was kind of yours, Cody. It probably was. I mean, there were a, was a lot that went into it. but Right. But I would not suggest that to anyone as their first anime. No, no, not no. today. No, but that, that was a different time, right? But I wouldn't suggest it at all. Not it's at just, all. It's a bad anime sometimes. Oh, it's ter- it's really bad. But <laughs> the best thing about it, definitely not the plot. It's the fights. Yeah, the fights are the best part. About if Dragon this show. Ball would get a real reanimation, like redo. Which what is what we thought we were gonna have when they were like Dragon Ball Z Kai, and then it's just HD. Yeah, but just remastered. Yeah, which does look really good. And yeah, it looks better, but it's not completely reanimated. Uh, I remember when I first watched it and being upset about that. <laughs> oh yeah, well, well it's too, especially how beautiful that freaking opening is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, uh... Well, then, I didn't... Oh, you got more? Yeah, I wasn't... Oh, yeah, yeah I, I wasn't a done. More too. Because... Oh, we're about at the halfway point. Because All then, right, make um... 
I fell off the anime grid for probably six to seven years, just not watching any anime except for Dragon Ball Z and maybe a little Yu Yu Hakusho here and there. And I remember watching a little bit of Bleach, too, because it was interesting. And then high school ended. All my good friends went to college or moved away. And basically the only people I had to hang out with, I mean, I hung out with Cody. And these assholes right here. Yeah, these assholes right here. Actually, I didn't know these two. I just knew Dakota. Yeah. And uh, I remember coming over one day and hanging out with Cody. And we Soul were, Eater was my gateway anime we were, after that. We were going to the gym that night. And you were like, we're just going to hang out before. And I was like, Nate, come to the gym. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, I know it's gym. Sorry, I was thinking of weightlifting instead of parkour. <laughs> so Soul Eater ended up being your gateway. So Soul Eater ended up being my gateway anime for later on in life. Because I knew I liked anime, but I didn't know I ended up still be watching it today. Alright, what more did you want to add on? Well, I, I got back into anime when I, we started hanging out again in high school, and that was, uh, with Dragon Ball and One Piece and Yu Hakusho, but I consider my gateway anime that really got me back into it was uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I remember watching that as a kid. Full Metal rem- Alchemist as a kid. I remember you watching, like, Dragon Ball, and then I had to really convince you to watch One Piece. And then when you were watching One Piece, you were like, yeah, these shows are good, but I'm not going to watch any more anime. And then I guess it was probably <laughs> Brotherhood. Well, I think well, it was a combination. You watched Brotherhood, and then right after Brotherhood, you watched Brotherhood. I didn't want to watch Brotherhood. Well, right after, remember. you watched Girl in the Gun. Yeah, because... And I didn't want to watch that one, because I was like, I don't know, man. You're like, no, just watch this shit. And then I was like, all right. I'll be honest, Dakota, to be honest, to fit your personality and your time and the way you live, short to medium animes are just your forte. Yeah. Bleach is the only long anime he's watched. Well, One Piece. But you didn't get super long in the One Piece. Yeah, but I'm still watching it. True. I'm just, I've fallen off. But, I mean, short animes are my, for- my forte, too. But, yeah, I can agree with that. I, I watch more, I'm more of a seasonal kind of guy. Definitely. And I think you're both. Yeah, you Cody's, like, if it's good. It's yeah. good, you like it. Yeah, is what I'll it is. watch it. And, I mean, I'll I'm, find the, time. I'm the same way. If it's good, I'll watch it. It's just when, when you hear, when you come into the anime community way late, like I did, and Drew, too, Drew came in later, and you come in, you're like, Cody here, 400 and Whatever episodes in the One Piece, dude, you gotta watch One Piece. And then you go and you. I'm on episode one, one dude. <laughs> and then you hear how many episodes it has. It really throws you off not yeah, wanting like, to watch. Oh, I gotta it. watch that many. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, I can't. I don't know it that experience because there's no shows really like that that I'm not like far in. But... Right, right. All right. Well, I think we need to take a quick break, real quick. Yeah. And for when sure. we get back, we'll discuss more things. Yeah. Hey. Guys, what's up? We're back from our break. It was a whole like three minutes. It was great. <laughs> a whole three minutes for you, but for us it was wait for a whole like ten seconds for you, but for us it yeah. was like a lifetime. We missed you. Did you miss us? We did so much. We, we went, went to like we hiked to Disney Everest. World. Oh, I went to Disney World. Well, there's an Everest in Disney World. What do you mean there's Disney World on Everest? It's cold. A lot of the rides don't, don't function right. I don't so. recommend it. But hey, <laughs> hey, they tried. Oh, good Drew, job, Drew. Nasty. Right on Very the podcast. Good. Right in their ears for the viewing pleasure. Well, that beat mm-hmm. up is, I don't think it's hurting Nate and Dakota that much, but me and Drew are hurting. I'm um, dazed. <laughs> we're dazed. Let's go, dude. I'm when I get you home, guys able we're tired, go. we're dazed. I think I filled my stomach up, which makes me want to go to bed. <laughs> it's like I put bad gas in my car. <laughs> put bad gas in your like, car. And the Bobby? wrong fuel. The wrong fuel? Yeah. That's what I feel like, too, dude. Alright, well, look, I'm gonna go first. Okay, Alright, alright. Who's your favorite anime? I got Drew's gonna talk go a lot two. for the end of this. I'm gonna go with two. All first right. of all, first favorite anime character. Just for personality and flair and moral reasons, Kamina from Girl in the God. I was thinking the same. I love man. Kamina. He. Now, wait, the question is do you what? like Kamina better than Simo? Yeah. Kamina made Simo. Than... Yeah, Kamina made Simo, but like, if you put adult Simo next to adult Kamina, which one's better? I feel like I like. Ka- if Ka- I feel like if Kamina didn't die, I don't want to spoil it. Spoiler! Spoiler! If Kamina didn't I mean, have a disclaimer, it's a very old. 
episode. No. All I'm Our saying show. is, if, I think if Commoner would have lived, same amount yeah. of life as he might, he would have yeah. been. I still think if you're gonna announce a death, we should say spoiler right before. Sorry, we say spoiler guy. From now sorry. on, but okay. like I'm saying, Commoner is my favorite. He's just awesome. Love him, the manliest man. But also the coolest man at the same time. He is really awesome. Mm-hmm. I think I like Simon just a little bit better, just Me because too. I have more character development with him. A yeah, more I have more connection with. Again, Simon. if Kamina was around for the whole show, I probably would have liked him better. That's yeah. true. And He's then, a Mexican though. Simon gets taller than him. Yeah, yeah Simon does get like. Not I feel by like a ton, as far. I feel like I like he Kamina gets ripped myself yeah. more than Simon just because I get so many. I, I don't know. I just like the feels I get from Kamina a lot. You don't get crazy feels from Simon? No, I do, but they're different kinds of feels. Kamina, I'm just like, yes, he's inspiring me. Yes, I can do this. I, I'm going to fight the power. Yeah. And then Simone, I'm just like, all right, this guy, oh, my God, he's so amazing. He came from this to this. Yes. Oh, he's going to do it. He can fight the power. Yeah. You know what's, like, really touching to me when I think about it? Kamina always told Simone, his is the drill that will pierce the heavens. Mm-hmm. He never said, I'm going to pierce the heavens. Yeah. It's like he knew. Old. It's like he knew it was going to be Simo. Oh, oh, One of the weird things about Kamina is, like, if you, if you think, if you watch the first episode, and then watch a few episodes later when he's fighting, uh, Viral for the first time is his name? Viral? Viral. 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 Uh, Viral. Viral. The disease. They, they make Kamina kind of a, a liar a little bit. In right. a sense, the fact that he he's ma- play- he was playing him though he was playing yeah. him in that fight. Well, not not that like they he, they make it not communist lying from Simon's perspective. Kamina is the greatest fighter, the greatest warrior of all time, and then he's losing to well. well Simon's got to learn lessons. Like, yeah, like I mean, it's what happens. Right. I think one of my favorite anime characters on Earth, and I I, I don't want to say that it's just because it's coming out right now. I don't know, and it's a combination character, but Shinichi and Migi, dude. I agree. The, the given way two, they the freaking given throw for yeah, the mm-hmm. way that they work together as one person and fight. Like I just love this character. I really do. Mm-hmm. He's just, I don't know. He's a great character. Like they're both really smart, which I think helps. And now that they both can fight too, the problem is, who do you think is smarter, Migi? Migi. Okay, that was my question. I thought I think Migi's smarter too. But, I mean... The problem is those damn parasites, they all have photographic memory. Dang, I wish I could yeah. say something about what happened in the last episode. I do, too. Because you know what I'm talking about. We haven't about. seen it yet, so... Don't. I've seen it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I've yeah. seen it. Tell yeah, me. Yeah, I said person. I've seen it. Oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> what, 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 the, both the things... Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I said what both the things did. I know what you're talking about. You're going to spoil like, it for yeah, the audience, okay. not, for the, not for me. That was cool. We're going to spoil things for the audience, but not for... Oh, yeah. We put audience. a disclaimer, so you're in the podcast. So what What, what were we talking about? I'll kill you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so who are some of your favorite characters, Nate? Some of my favorite characters... Uh man. Male characters, we're going to have to go with... Oh, we're doing a male and a female? Well, yeah, we can do... I'm just going to name we, off all of them. We, we don't have to do our favor. We can just name off who we really like. Okay. As characters. We can say our favorites, Well, I got too. a bunch more than... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't have to say our exact favorites. We can say them, but do just people we like. Yeah. Okay, who else did you like, then, Drew? Yeah, go ahead, because I'm still yeah. working on that. Other than Kamina, who else oh, do you really I was going like? to say Aaron Yeager. Yeah, Aaron Yeager is awesome. You bring the salsa and I'll bring the Yeager. Aaron Yeager. <laughs> great character. <laughs> a lot of build up from, from him when I watched it. And then, uh, he's just strong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's awesome, not dude. big. And then, like, that, cl- that was a moment for me when he was, like, when everybody was tas- testing out their 3D gear. Yes! Oh, and nobody, yeah. could, everybody was doing it and he was tripping. He was like, why am I not doing so well? And he couldn't get it, but it ended up his stuff was, like, faulty. But he yeah. got even it though anyway. he was like doing it with it faulty, and yeah, I was just like, like 10 "This dude is something crazy. He's amazing." And then like the general guy, the guy that came up, um, that's how he's in the bridge, uh, and he was like, "Ah, yes, uh, no wonder you fell. Yeah, you have faulty equipment." And they were like, "Hey, you can do this for thirty seconds on with faulty, faulty equipment. equipment. This guy's a badass." <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight, though, him or Levi? Oh, Levi. Levi. <laughs> Come on. Levi's but Levi's Levi would have, like, stood there and been, like, hovering, <laughs> reading a book. Levi's injured now. Well, what? Your shirt says Levi. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Levi's injured now in his legs, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of worried about that. I haven't seen that. the OVA yet. I haven't either, so. Supposed to be something else coming out. I really thought uh, Levi was going to die in the last episode of 
uh, Attack on Titan. I, I thought. I feel like if Levi dies, they're fucked. Who, okay, who do you like better, <laughs> Levi or Mikasa? Mikasa. Mikasa, come on, man. I like Mikasa. More she's character, so de- we've had more character development with she's her with she's her so cute. She's really cute. We've had more <laughs> character development with her with her well, backstory. Like Asian why. Guys, huh? Mikasa's bad. I Asian like, bad. uh, Vegito. <laughs> I think, yeah. yeah. Well, I know it's why random, but that's two characters. Vegito's, I like all these two characters <laughs> in one game. So, so you Come like on, Vegito man. more than Gogeta? Obviously. Uh, yeah. Because there is a difference. Dude, I love Huge Gogeta, difference. but Vegito is Vegeta's the strongest so fusion. Funny. He's funny. He's freaking awesome. Okay. Gogeta's awesome too, but he's not even canon. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So but it's not canon. Man. Do we really care on this? I really don't care. Do we care on Nakama Cast? I don't care. All I'm saying is I kind of wish Vegito would have actually been permanent like they said it was going to be. Really? I never realized. They said it was going to be. Why? All I'm saying is, why can't Dragon Ball keep their promises? Or at least Dragon Ball gonna, can't uh, keep characters dead. Then, then they say, well, to combat that, we're gonna have you can only have one wish from the dragon. Like you can only bring a person back once. Fair enough. And then they're like, well, now Perula can bring him back because so we can as kill many times characters. as you want. And then they're like, well, now we're gonna force this fusion. Oh no, J.K. It's gonna undo because of stomach acid. What? Oh yeah, like this fusion's supposed to last forever. Yeah, like it doesn't. I think Akira Toriyama just is the laziest writer on the planet. I think he's afraid of commitment. Oh crap, I killed Krillin. I'm gonna bring him back. (laughs) Oh crap, Piccolo is not a demon. Oh crap, I killed Yamcha. We better waste a wish on him. Mm. I really, they're just like, hey guys, Yamcha's dead. Do we do anything about it? Yeah, let's do it. Are you sure? <laughs> like, okay. We could use this on something else. Uh, maybe we'll do world peace. Maybe maybe the wish that Boo never was born. Nah, nah, bring Yamcha back. He's cool. I got yeah. another character. Oh, did you want to say something? Oh, no, it'd be even funnier. I know, we were going to get around if to When guys. they were go- said, yeah, we'd like to wish Yamcha back. And the dragon said, are you are sure? You? He's just like, are you sure? And then did the same, the same, that'd be hilarious if they did that. You like Vegito, Drew? But I never actually no? thought of that. Never. That yeah, Vegito's canon and Gogeta's not. Vegito's I never, oh. r- I never actually realized that. Realize what? Who that did? Vegito's ca- canon and Gogeta's not. Yeah. I totally spaced on that. Yeah, Gogeta's made up, but he's still freaking awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, everyone thinks he's more powerful just because when the fusion happens, they automatically have Super Saiyan. That means nothing. Right. Uh, I think I also really, really, really like Luffy. I think he's one of my favorite characters of all time because he's cop so out. No, I'm <laughs> no, like he's <laughs> freaking. I know he's carefree. He's awesome. Like, but then he's not one of those carefree characters. It's like all oh, this guy's a dude. He doesn't care about anything. He's like he's carefree, but at the same time, he really effing cares. Yeah, like when he shows emotion, it's one of the most like heart wrenching things I see in anime. Yeah. Like, he really cares about his Nakama. Cast! Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, so, All who's right, going next? Nader, um, um, well, from the Dragon Ball and I Dragon Ball Z series, you. I'm gonna go with I, one of my favorite characters. Actually, my favorite character from the Android Dragon Ball Z. 18. Oh, yeah, at least she 18. Or she 18? No, oh. Okay, it's. Teen Gohan, Future Gohan, and Ultimate or Mystic Gohan. Oh, so now Gohan we're talking about a cop out. <laughs> Who doesn't love Gohan? Well, I don't like GT Gohan, and I don't oh like Kid Gohan. Gohan. I think Gohan's a little overrated. That's what I'm saying. He's overrated. Everyone likes him. I I liked him way before he was overrated. Unpopular opinion. I love Great Saiyan Man. Dropping it. I, I love, love Great Saiyan. I like Great Saiyan too, but I, I, the, those three, I I like them more because they're so freaking. Badass. I'll admit, I do love Future Gohan. I'll admit that. But anyway. Future Gohan, yeah, is totally badass. Uh, Mystic Gohan, Gohan? Mystic Gohan. The, re- the, the re- reason I fell in love with Mystic Gohan is Super Boo is kicking everyone's ass. Destroying everyone. No one can do shit. Dude, I need to rewatch Dragon Ball. I got it all over there. Fi- Mystic Gohan comes down. And Super Boo's like, you're going to fight me? And he goes, fight you. I'm gonna kill you! First line out of his... But he doesn't. <laughs> instead, he gets absorbed! Yeah, instead he killed Don't That's, Do Crap. He was kicking his ass. Speaking of you. awesome characters in Dragon Ball, though, can we talk about Gotenks? Oh, well, yeah. Gotenks. Another We're fusion. Gonna, got fusion char- double Another character. double character while well, we're at Let's it. talk about Supreme Kai. Was anyone, or Kabuto Kai. Was anyone else no. really upset? I'm, Vegito, one of my favorite characters also. 
when it wasn't a Gohan Goku fusion. I was upset, but then I was less upset when it was, it was Vegeta yeah. and Goku, which yeah. is yeah. awesome. That would have been so cool. Remember though. when he actually considered fusing with Hercule for a minute? Yeah, uh, and he was like, "I think I get and weaker." Tien. And Tien. T- I think Tien is one of the freaking most underrated characters in anything. I ever. agree. He's in every fight. Tien is effing awesome. He never runs away like Yamcha does. Yeah, he protects And if you don't know, up until the Buu Saga, he's effing powerful. Mm-hmm. He puts up a freaking fight against Cell. He wins. He shoots, he shoots squares out of his triangle-shaped hand signal. Yeah, I never said that. <laughs> I don't know either, but it was Dragon Ball. Akira Toriyama, what are you doing? <laughs> but if you remember correctly, he was powerful, but... When they're, when they're oh, talking. I don't remember correctly. When they're talking about it. Oh, sorry. When they're talking about it, um. Tien doesn't do any damage. They talk about Tien's power levels dropping like a rock. Yeah. And Cells doesn't move at all during that whole. Well, yeah. Ha! 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 But still. Yeah. It's still hurting Cells and slowing him down. And that's what still Tien's goal was to slow him down. Did. Right, right. What? A lot more than what Yamcha did. True, yeah. Come on. Okay, we're talking to Yamcha. Okay, I need to talk to my, get myself. Um, as far as, like, characters from nowadays that are a little more new, one of my favorite characters is Jonathan Joestar. Uh, uh, Jonathan? I, I I love Jonathan Joestar. I think he is... Is he your favorite? He's my favorite of all the JoJo's that I've seen so far. Like, Jonathan... I really like uh, Joseph Joestar um, a lot. I'm going to try not to spoil it because you guys haven't seen it. But I really like him a lot, but he's... More of like a ladies' man, and he's smooth. Oh, and he's yeah. he's a bit of a coward at the same time. Joe Taro, who's the current one, um, he's kind of a jackass from what I've seen so far. He's like, he doesn't give a shit what other people do. He's just like he's just like I don't care. I'm only doing this because like man, whatever. Where Jonathan, his motives are clear. He's like uh, he's like I need to regain honor for my family. I need to do this power. I'm gonna get married. Gonna. I'm gonna defeat Dio because he's a menace and blah 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 and just everything about him is just honor, honor, honor. And I feel like his character development because he goes from being kind of a weak and scared little boy to like the biggest, the most, just a man. Not like a manly man, but like he's just he is a man's man. He's a a good guy, and I just really like his character development. And I just like the fights that he's in the most, it just because I think it's some about Britain that I like a lot, and the Victorian period, which is when his is set. Mm-hmm. It's just it's really good. I like it a lot. I like him a lot. I want to point out that I think the reason why I like more female characters than male characters is because which you haven't brought up your favorite female character ever. Well, I'll yet. bring it. I'll bring it up. Well, uh, we should we bring it up because we're getting okay. near the end of the podcast. Okay, but let me mention this real quick. I think it's because character design wise, you can do a lot more with females. J.K. What do you mean? Really? I see a lot more male characters looking the same. Than female characters looking the Maybe same. in a lot of Slice of Life anime. Which we're not saying that's all you watch, but you do watch more Slice of Life than we do. Mm-hmm. Maka? Yeah, Maka is my favorite, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, bring her Maka's, up. yeah, Maka's probably my favorite female character. A lot of people give her hate, and I, but I just, I love the character. Really? Okay, hold up. You bring up, I'm, I might insult you when I say this, so okay. prepare your butt. Um, Which? You, you say that you like female characters because you can do a lot more of them, and there's a lot more variety with female characters. Yet, for your favorite female character, you pick one of the plainest, plainest. Yeah, I know, female right? characters I know. ever. Her outfit's really cool, though. She's so effing plain, though. But her dude. outfit. <laughs> Compared to the rest of the people in Soul Eater, her outfit's even plain. Nah. Really? Nah. I don't know about that. Compared to the other people? I think it, oh. The only person that probably has a better outfit is Black Star. I like Souls. I like Tsubaki. Or, and Soul, probably. Tsubaki's is just a dress with a star on it. But she yeah. looked effing hot in that, dude. That doesn't mean it's not plain. <laughs> it's, there's a star on it. Now you're just trying to win the argument that you can't win. Um, I can win. I'm going to limit myself to five favorite point? female characters. I don't like this Google cool outfit. But I don't... Not I'm, not saying it's the, I'm not saying it's the best, but I don't think it's the most plain thing in the world. My favorite, like... I, I think know. she's plain as in... Look. Body figure. Yeah. That's, you know. It's not because of... Oh, Mock is the hottest anime character ever. No, that's not why I like the character she at all. Has the normal the pigtails. Yeah, I uh, like the no. pigtails. Um, it's I don't know. It's an f- anime that got me back into anime, and it really I really liked the anime uh, a, a lot. And I mean, we've talked about it. Soul Eater is one of my favorites. But of course, <laughs> um, it's just it's hard to explain why exactly. I think it's. 
because she's the one that a lot of people lean on near the end of the show. Mm-hmm. And it, it, she, it, the weird thing is, you think she she's the weakest throughout the entire show, and she ends up being the strongest. So you think she's the best character in all of Soul Eater? Uh, I have to say Stein's the best that's character. That's what I was going to say. In all of Soul Eater. But that's just because Stein's a very dynamic character. I want to hear more from Drew. You got another one? Another... Yeah, who's another of your favorite? You gotta have more than just. Dude, I love Alphonse. Oh, Alphonse. Alphonse. Yeah. I love Alphonse. They're, 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 those two brothers right there, they're, they're so, um, I don't want to say unselfish. Yeah. yeah. But they I feel like they care a lot of others before themselves. Definitely. But they also are very selfish. Yes. Yeah, well, I don't time. think they're. No, I think they were. I think no, they were wrong in that decision, but I don't think that was a selfish decision. I mean, they gave up their body parts. And they were really young kids at the time. Right, right. That, think wasn't, that. that wasn't the selfish part. What are they selfish with? My selfish thing is, like, they they really put a lot of stuff on other people when they're trying... Not like, oh, if you don't do this... I, I don't know how I'm trying to say this, but, like... I feel my like memory, Al- Alphonse were trying to carry everything. Yeah, as my memory says, yeah, they hated they, having help from people. Yeah, they did everything on their own. They tried to help everybody else. That's one of the reasons why they're selfish. You that can be selfish by sense. doing everything by yourself. But they didn't That's do a form it. Of they didn't do it in a selfish way, though. They were just trying to help everybody. Oh damn! I, well, I, said I do lean. think it's very. I said lean and greed. Oh, oh my god! Greed. You can still yeah. say them, dude. Lean and greed. Dude, combo. Oh, yeah. That is one of the best characters. That is Why amazing. Why are all combo characters? I don't know! It's two and one. Yeah, the dynamic y- yin aspect yin that it brings. Together. Ling was already freaking awesome. awesome. And when that happened with him, I was like, no, I don't know if I can go on with this show. <laughs> like, I was like, I really can't do this. Like, I, honestly, that gave me the feels of, spoiler alert for Lost. <laughs> that gave me the feels of, with what happened to Charlie. Like, I was like, oh. this guy is gone. Oh, like, this Charles, dude not is... Penny, not Penny's boat. Yeah, like, I was like, this dude you didn't is... didn't hear any of that, did you? No. Gone. Yeah. You haven't watched Lost? He refuses to... Are you gonna watch it? Well, Lost? if you're not gonna Maybe watch it, then it doesn't even matter. Do it, man. It's on Netflix. Watch that shit. <laughs> but, like, it gave me that feel, because I was like, this dude's gone. That's it. But then, luckily, he wasn't really gone. I got one more character I want to talk about. And yeah, you haven't given one yet. Uh, uh, well, we don't really have yeah, the time. This will probably be, have to be the last one. Okay. Okay. Matsuriko, that's it. Okay, thank um. It's a character I really like a lot um, for 12 episode anime. She's probably my favorite, one of my favorite female characters. Anime. Let's see. Is it possible that I would guess this? It's possible. Well, you could guess the anime. Oh, uh, I was it Angel? Yeah. That's what I was going to Angel. Guess. Angel is one of my all time favorite characters. Just because it's like, you first see him, you're like, oh man, because they're like, she's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. She, we got to fight Angel, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, um, I need to chill, bro. Let me tell my thing. Um, there, um, uh, no, I know it's getting close to time. Oh, okay. Um, but they're like, uh, they're like, oh, we gotta fight Angel, and then it turns out the main character, like, just talks to her. She's like, she's like, I'm not really a bad guy, and they're like, don't believe her, and then she turns out not to just be not a bad guy, but she starts seeing things from their point of view, they see things from her point of view, and then she just grows as a character, and then at the end, it's just such, a sad ending. It really is a sad ending. I don't want to spoil for you because I don't think you've seen the ending. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have? I didn't know. I know Drew hasn't seen it. I don't think Drew would like it so much. You should. You like Angel Beats. Watch it. It's 12 episodes. Um, but, uh, I don't know. Just her character is just, it was very cute, very pretty, as well as, you know, I don't know. I just, I just really like Angel. I find it. Kanata. If, it was Kanata? Hinata? Something. It's Kanata. It starts with a K, not a H. Uh, Kanade, maybe? Something like that. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Um, but she's, uh, her character development's just great. And yeah, I just her, really like the her two strong, best characters, you know? uh, the female and the female wise, in that show are Yui and her. Yeah. So. Okay. Real quick, to end us out. Just throw out awesome characters. No, no talking about why they're awesome. Just who else do we think is awesome? Well, Goku. We didn't even touch on Goku. Goku's awesome. I think Light, Yagami, and L. Yeah, I was going to throw them out Both of them are freaking awesome. Sa- Sa- Satsuki Kiryuin. Who? Oh, Satsuki. Um, uh, Mario from Mario. I guess we can I'm just kidding. That. <laughs> uh, uh, Lelouch. Best anime ever. Lelouch and Suzaku. A lot of these duos, like I said, like, yeah, L and Light. Yeah, duos. Like, like Suzaku and Colin. Colin, she's pretty awesome. Someone I really like is she's uh, definitely the best. Icarus from Heaven's Lost Property. I really like Icarus. Who else you got for us, Drew? 
Uh, then Throw we got out. Asa Sugar, and basically the whole cast from Shuffle. They're all good characters. Same with same with uh, Fairy Tale. The whole cast of Fairy Tale. Those oh, are yeah, all Natsu is a beast. Oh, of course. You guys don't really like Levy, but I like Levy. I'm not a big fan of Levy. Levy is even more plain to me. To be Lock honest, yeah. I think one of the reasons I also like her more is because you guys aren't nearly as far as I am, and she gets better. Meh. Uh, just either way, she's so, such a plain character to me. Yeah. She, I do like her and Gaiji will get together. What's his face? It's, uh, Star Driver main character. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Takudo. Takudo. I yeah, love Takudo. Yeah, It's a pinch. What about uh, Wako? Uh, she sings a good song. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, Does she? Her, yeah. I don't remember Wako singing a song. Yeah, here's the last one that she gets to sing. Oh, yeah. Song. <laughs> um, you got one, Drew? Great characters. Kind of thing. Yusuke Meshi. Oh, uh, Yusuke. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Yusuke is one of the best characters. Like, just... Oh, yeah, we don't. We're not talking about him, but he's amazing. Oh, the cast of Kaon fits all. They all fit really well together. Yeah, I really like the cast none of, of Kaon a lot. None of the characters would be very good without the others. That's the thing. All the JoJo's. I mean, I'll give them that. Oh, oh, oh! Claire from Claymore and Teresa of the Face uh, Mouth from Claymore. Oh, Kirito. Kirito, Kirito is, is a good character. Asuna. Asuna was a good character. Was a good character? I don't she like gets the second better! Season. Damn it. Watch the second season! <laughs> watch the second season? He's, yes! He's, he's, you're like caught up, are you? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I watched so all bad. I like you it. all! <laughs> I finished it. I did not like it. I don't like Asuna either. Really? Oh, I think it was good. I mean, she, it, she, it was basically about her towards the end of it. Huh. Harsh words, man. Shots Wait. fired. Oh! <laughs> What do you... Oh, Kaniki. We'll talk about it later. Kaniki, oh, yeah, Kaniki. obviously. Why, yeah. We didn't talk about well, him Well, I'm not sure right now just because of the last episode. Oh, yeah, you, you guys got to watch that. You got to give it a chance. Uh, I'm giving it a chance. I'm just saying. I don't know. That was your favorite anime last year. You got to give it a chance. I'm giving it a chance. You got to give it a chance, Cody. I'm not saying I don't know about the show. I'm saying I'm not sure about Kaniki at the moment. You need to give it a chance. Potato Girl. Sasha. Oh, Sasha. freaking... Oh, Reen from Blue Exorcist. Oh, oh. Reen. Oh, yeah. Was, and his brother. Him and his brother. Yeah. I love you. I, you their dad. Oh, oh, I wish we would have had more of his dad in the show. Wait, Ooh. you mean Satan? Mm. No. I'm just effing around, bro. I was looking at you like, this is so good. It's oh, good dude. Oh, good Did you watch characters. that movie yet? I think no, Dakota's going to only be the only one that knows about this with me, but, um. Spike Spiegel? Spike, of oh course. Oh my gosh, why did we not Spike. say Spike? Oh, and not, not Shinji. Um. Not Shinji? Oh. Asuka. Yeah, Oscar. But Dakota, the I can't remember their names right now. But the two main guys from Bakuman. Oh, uh, the Isaac and Miria. No. Oh, Bakuman. and Bakuman. Ba- ba- Bakuman. Bakuman also has amazing Bakuman. Uh, Psycho and uh, I can't think of the name. I know what you're talking about Psycho. Speaking Psy- of, that's what their nicknames that they call each other. Speaking oh. of Psycho, High School of the Dead, Psycho. That's uh, a great yeah. character. And. Uh, I like Kota Hirano. Mashiro, Mashiro, and uh, yeah, the I can't, I can't think of the glasses guy's name. Bakuno, go check out the anime or the manga. Both are great. You mean Bakuman? That's what I meant to say. But Bakuno's good too. Cool. Isaac and Miria. Not not manga, light novels. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isaac and oh, Isaac and Miria, dude. They're probably they're two of my they're the, they're my anime power couple. Yeah, some of the best couple, like best characters ever made. I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty more that we go on and on about. The, the list is endless. Well, I mean, it might end at some point, but... It's been fun, guys. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not happy that we're done recording this. As much as I've had fun, I am just feeling my stomach. We're all tired. We're good. We're all tired. But yeah. we'll see you next week. And Probably from a new location. Yep, yeah, for sure. And, uh... No, I won't give that away yet. Oh. I won't give it Well, you'll see. You'll not, see next week. Don't touch me lightly. No, he like caressed my arm, like just <laughs> randomly, randomly. <laughs> it's not random anymore. I mentioned it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Touch each other. Remember we're to point- out of here. We love you. Remember to point Stay it up. Crazy. Uh, also, go ahead and if you're watching on YouTube, leave questions in the comments, and we will answer them in the next episode. Love Peace you. out. Yeah.